It's important for a country to make smart decisions when looking into global business. Every country's goal is to be successful. With the increasing opportunities that countries have to do business globally, the amount of risk increases as well. When countries are trying to decide whether or not they should do business globally, they should really think about the consequences that they could face. No one wants to be the country that gets the short end of the stick. Another thing that countries need to think about when they're trying to decide whether or not they should do business globally is, who can produce this better than me? Is there anyone that can produce this better than me? And if so, what can I get in return? Otherwise known as absolute advantage and, compa and comparative advantage. Okay, now I'm going to show everyone an example of comparative and absolute advantage when the U.S. is doing global business with Russia. Alright, so here we have the U.S. and Russia. We are going to trade caviar and wheat. First, I want you all to look at caviar. In the U.S., we see that it takes six hours, we're measuring in hours, to produce, you know, one product of caviar. In, the U in Russia, we see that it takes 16, 16 hours to produce the, you know, the same one product of caviar. So here, you know, we have the 6 versus the 16 hours. Therefore, we can say that the U.S. has an absolute advantage of producing caviar when doing business with Russia. Now, if we go ahead and look at wheat, we see it takes the U.S three hours to produce maybe one bushel of wheat for a trade. We go to Russia, we see it only takes four hours to produce the same one bushel. So I would say we should go ahead, take, you know, thousand products of caviar for six hours, trade it with Russia, because it takes them a whole sixteen hours to do the same, save them the time, and we trade them the caviar for wheat because we can spend more time making more caviar for trade and not worry about the wheat and have the wheat from Russia sent right over to us because they're gonna want you know the more time they can spend the less time they can spend produce trying to produce caviar the more wheat they can produce to sell to us if I was in Russia and I wanted to do business with the U.S., I would look at this diagram and say, you know what, U.S., how about I trade you, let's say, one, let's, oh, 400 bushels of wheat for your 6,000 units of caviar in return because it takes me too long to produce caviar when I can produce almost as much wheat as you can. You know, how about you cut off on your wheat production you focus mainly on your caviar um, businesses and we try like that. That way we can kind of get the best of both worlds, you know, because Russia has the comparative advantage when producing wheat and the U.S. has the absolute advantage when producing caviar. Now, I know we all have our own perceptions of people and even countries. That's why it's important to really understand what how the country's economy is built, how their government is structured, because if we don't understand that, then we can become unsuccessful when we try to conduct business with the country globally.